Hi everyone, this is going to be the fifth uh, video about making some painty papers, collage papers and for this you need either a oil pastels a, or crayons you can even uh, use chalk pastels but uh, they need a little bit more work I will explain later I'm going to use oil pastels here, they are cheap and cr this is very expensive I have it <laughs> like three decades the Crayola uh, crayons and so that's what I'm going to use and the papers we are going to use are varied and I will go over it the most po important thing is that they need to be thin nothing that is thicker than printer paper but still there is a lot of options I picked uh, these three stencils uh, just to show you uh, how it works and that it can be varied, it doesn't have to be this kind of stencils. So let's begin. First, I've picked things that anyone uh, has like a... First, I've picked ma magazine pages. These two are from the IKEA catalog. This is from National Geographic. And the whole uh, point of this, all the <laughs> this is to put the stencil down. And uh, let's see which one do I want. Let's do this. Haven't used it yet uh, in any way, so I'm going with this. Now, when you're taking magazine pages, at least I am. I don't care what is written. I don't care what is uh, photographed. I'm looking at the general. Uh, color I have in the back. If I like it, that's what I'm going to use. So, first of all, I'm taking the page. Oh. <laughs> I'm a little bit uh, uh, all over the place. Okay, so I've got this and now I want to start uh, going over it and picking the details from uh, my stencil. And usually when I'm doing something like that, I will go with a color that will stick that will be noticeable on this page i'm going to try this a uh, dark blue and it's better to use it flat like this but you can also do it like this so let's see i'm just going like so and of course it doesn't need to be all the way the, uh, the same color i can just switch to something else and just so you will see I can take another one and I can go like this of course the effect will be different than when I'm using it flat like so and the more pressure you are putting the better the pattern that you will get now it's not for everyone not everyone will like this there is a lot of a uh, details here and i can also move and do the pattern again and there will be more and more details but that's part of it and i know it looks like a mess but the whole point of doing this kind of painty collage papers is that the we tear them or cut them and we create something else so it doesn't stay like this and it can be very interesting if I will just tear it and do all kinds of stuff with it when it's in little pieces there is no more this <laughs> piece of furniture so that's the whole point so just moving on let's see and of course it uh, it also varies when the stencil is different let's see let's take this one i'm just going to continue with this a uh, dark blue like so you can go in many different directions and as I said I can also move it a little bit and let's switch to 
just I'm going wild with the colors just so you can see what it can be achieved and here I'm using red and look what we got so this is the magazine pages let's do this a uh, National Geographic and let's do with another stencil just so we will have different things to uh, to see how it works I know it's dark I know it but sometimes this pieces are the best here we go maybe even if I do I have white here I have some a uh, yeah I think it is or just light gray I don't know so I'm uh, really pushing it in okay so here is another one now this technique is not for everyone uh, next I'm putting this is tissue paper and it's easier to work because it's thinner than the magazine pages and once again whoopsie you need to <laughs> be careful not to tear your tissue paper <laughs> I've put a lot of pressure because I was in the mode of the magazine pages never mind as I said this is all going to be uh, torn or cut and used so here is on, on tissue paper just another example and let's see another tissue paper I kind of <clears throat> I really don't like <laughs> pink so this and usually I use the tissue paper this kind of tissue paper for just for a uh, creating thick texture and then I paint over it but here we go now it's it's bearable just by scrapping this kind of a uh, oil pastel on it now uh, about the chalk pastels that I told you <clears throat> the problem with chalk pastels is that they smear yes I know that all pastels also uh, some people really like to seal it also but it's not it doesn't smear like the chalk pastels now in terms of uh, sealing this kind of stuff we are going from cheaper to uh, the more pricey thing I usually use either the most uh, cheap uh, hairspray I can find or I am using the clear any kind brand it, this is from the cheap store it's clear uh, spray and of course there is the fixative which is expensive and can be bought at craft and art supplies stores I don't buy it it just I can't it's not uh, something that I can live with with the price of it so chalk pastels also work but they certainly need to be a uh, sealed and let's go with what color just so it will show here on the on this little pink I don't know let's take another green maybe this one I don't know how much of it uh, will be yeah now I've got another set of uh, chalk pastels let's take this purple here we go now I'm not going to spray it right now because uh, everything is closed uh, I will take it outside and spray it I'm not very careful with this and I don't care I have now a nice paper to work with 
in other projects. So this is the chalk pastels and how to seal them. And let's just so you will see here it smears. So moving this aside, moving on. Next is just plain printer paper. Now another thing I will when you use this white a uh, printer paper there is also another thing that you can use because these are a uh, oil pastels they are a uh, water resistant and now I can take one of my sprays this is made from gel food coloring with water I don't have measurements I just put a few drops water and test if it's uh, good enough now I can just go in like this I can take another uh, another color another way to make this sprays it doesn't have to be with uh, gel food coloring it can also you can also use the powdered a uh, uh, fabric dye and here we go another painty paper so that's what's great with a white background with this technique moving this aside to dry moving on i'm taking another printer paper but this one <clears throat> has a, a little bit of paint from one of the other videos I made so now I want to add more to it and I'm going to use this technique and let's see do I have here let's do this and I'll just take part of this paper just so it would be easier Okay, so scraping Look how beautiful it is Okay Quite a transformation from just a printer paper with a little bit of faded uh, paint that I've picked up after I uh, picked more of the color and that was what was left and I never <laughs> waste paint. So here we go and again if I want more color I can do uh, again just take some spray and add more color. And we've got one great painty paper. Next, I just need to wipe a little bit here. I'm making a mess as usual. Okay. Next, just took a dictionary page. Again, another thing that can be great for a, this technique. And, well, let's do it with this all of this uh, except for the magazine pages you can add some spray you can take acrylic paint and dilute it with water and go in and add some color so you have the pattern from uh, the stencil and you can also add something more as long as you it's uh, not opaque then you have this you have the letters in the back you have the pattern from the stencil and you've got more color from uh, this spray Moving this aside, 
Okay, next. Another thing you can use is deli paper. Now, deli paper is uh, something that uh, may <laughs> confuses people because it's different from uh, each uh, country, continent, whatever you want. And because like here, if I went and really bought deli paper, I couldn't do anything with it. It's waxed on both sides. You cannot work with it. So uh, I have looked at a lot of um, videos until I uh, understood what deli paper is here. Here it's swin sandwich uh, paper, what you wrap your sandwich with. It has one a uh, glossy side and one matte side and we use the matte side. And it's a thin paper, it's great for this technique and also for uh, jelly printing. So let's see, let's go wild and I've got some little stencils, it doesn't have to be one big one. I can do one here, my, my work surface is still wet from the baby wipe, okay, so let's take this one and Next, let's pick something else. Where is the red? It's all about playing with all kinds of patterns and all kinds of colors it's just cheap paper and just play until you get what you like let's switch Ooh, this is nice never figured this one would be so nice Switching another one. You see all the possibilities. And of course, because I've got white in the back, I can also again go in with the sprays. Moving this aside very carefully, it's thin, and now I sprayed it. <clears throat> okay. Just one more idea for a, this technique is using a mat. Because why not? If it's, if it's thin enough, why not? Okay, let's see how it picks the details of the stencil. Now, even on this thing that is not completely white in the back, I can also use some sprays. But I think this one I will just leave it as is. Let's see how it will look with something like this that I really liked before with the deli paper. So let's see. Ooh, I think the, the softer the oil pastel is, the better the result. But just that's just me. I'm really liking it.
yeah so here it is another painty paper and as I said I can also add more paint with the sprays or just leave it as is so that's the whole thing that's the technique and I hope you liked it I hope you will uh, have lots of fun playing with a uh, really thin papers and this kind of <laughs> scraping oil pastels or crayons whatever you like thank you for watching and thank you for leaving me comments down below i'll be seeing you in my next video bye for now